Hello and welcome to this quick and succinct tutorial as how to write your first piece of code in NetBeans and Eclipse. I am going to treat first of all how to do this task using NetBeans. I will then use Eclipse. It is assumed at this point in time that you would have either either or downloaded and the associated JDK or at least the JRE downloaded onto your computer at this stage. So using NetBeans these are the generic steps. Number one, go to file menu and go to new project. Select this. Number two, click on Java application within the Java folder. Click on next. The next dialog box allows us to number one, set the project name. Number two, set the project location. And number three, is the main thing here is create main class. For now, leave that as being selected if using NetBeans. However, for the project name, what I would always suggest is give your project name an appropriate title. My my vision on that is that if it's if it's an, a course that you are doing, you could call it by the week number, the assignment number, and the date. So, week one. Assign one for shorthand. Twenty one. I'll just go back there. Twenty one dash zero one dash two oh one six as being the date. So once that is all done, I can click on finish. Now, on the left hand side in the projects folder, you can see our project, but you can also see the source package and the actual class itself, week one, assign one. The actual code within that class then is here in the editing window. So I'm just going to put in a very, very simple line of code and just to see if it runs and also um, just a few small pointers. One small habit to get in to, to get in quickly would be the notion of marking where the end of your class is and where the end of important parts within that class are. So I'm just going to put in end of main and then, sorry, end of class, sorry I should say. Even I make mistakes. Right. You may not see the purpose of doing that here at this point in time, but as your programs become larger and more complex, you do need to know where one part starts and another and another one ends and so forth. So it's a good notion of doing that. Okay. Now, for the first few weeks of this course, you are going to be writing all of your code within the main method. You will, once we get onto methods and functions and so forth like that and procedures, you will be able to write outside of the main method. But for now, just trust me and we are going to write all of our code within the main method. So, for now, we're going to put in a very, very simple printout. And as a bit of a bonus, I'm just going to show you a bit of a shortcut in NetBeans. If you type SOUT, it assumes that you are going to type a printout. So if you type in SOUT, followed by the tab button, you can see here it does system dot out dot print line and round brackets with ready for a string to be string to be put in there. So I'm going to put in hi. This is your first program. Now I will go through error checking and error error bug fixing at a later date. But at the moment, it looks as if there are no bugs in this code. Traditionally, you would compile your code before running it. In order to compile any bit of code, you would either click on Build or Clean and Build within NetBeans. Later versions of NetBeans, i.e. from, seven, um, from ne 7 onwards, have allowed that if you click on Run Project, it compiles the code for you and then runs it. However, I do not feel that that is that is um, that that is beneficial. So I'm going to click on build project first of all. When you build a project, 
it does one distinct step. In other words, it compiles the code. If the build is successful, then we know that our code is running properly. However, to order to run the code, we just click on this icon. So if I click on that, and you can see here, hi, this is your first program. Okay. That is what we had, uh, had put in as a printout. Hi, this is your first program. So, that is a quick primer on how to set up a project and a package with a NetBeans. I am now going to show the same process using Eclipse. Here are the relevant steps to creating a simple program using the Eclipse IDE. First of all, go to File. Go to New. And go to Java project. The menu options can be a bit tricky to use at times, but if you go to new and I've got the Java project, we'll give our project a name. So it's it first piece of code. 21012016. I could go through next, but the settings as they are set at the moment would be sufficient to write a very very simple program in fact most programs that we will need to write anyway so if i click on finish at this point in time you can see in the project explorer our project has been created sorry the package explorer but more importantly is this is that unlike the netbeans options we weren't given an option to create a class so what we have to do is going to the actual project itself. The SRC folder is where you wish to place your class in. The SRC stands for source and is the main folder within any package or project. So if we right click, click on SRC, but then right click and go to new, and you want to put in here class. For the moment, it will be classes that we'll be dealing with. Now, this screen here is important. It first of all gives us the option of typing in the name of our class so i will call this first piece of code zero one sorry 21 i should say 21 oh one two oh one six the modifier is beneath it are important but um we'll explain later the one important thing that you will need to select at this point in time is this option here. Which method stubs would you like to create? As I stated before, NetBeans selects the class as being the class that will contain the main method as default. However, Eclipse does not do that. So what you have to actually state is this is the class that will contain the main method. So if I click on that and click on finish. We can see now our class within the Project Explorer, first piece of code 21012016, and we can see it within the text editor itself. So I'm going to write in the same simple line of code that I had in the in, in NetBeans system, dot O-U-T, dot print ln. finish off that sentence with a semicolon okay you can see here now again if I wanted to mark the end of main and also end of class it's a good habit to get into get into coding habits quick okay you can see here that we've yet to compile this piece of code however the terminology want of a better word of compiling it within Eclipse is different so if we go here to project and if we go to clean we can select clean all projects that just does everything and anything however if we just wanted to clean one and one only we can click on this option here clean project selected below the reason why you might want to do that is that if you clicked on all projects there might be a lot of code to clean through and it might take a bit of time so I'm just selecting one that we're working with. 
so no error messages or anything like that came up. So in order then to run it, I can do several ways of doing that. I can click on this option here, or I can go to the run menu and go from that point there. Or a third way is actually right clicking and go to run as and click on Java application there. So if I clicked on this option, it will tell you if you need to save files that you this is denoted actually there you can see the little asterisk before the java class name that means that this file hasn't been saved so obviously we need to save it so i always click on okay okay and there we have the output of our program hi this is your first program now these two mini tutorials were very very basic and obviously some people could could tear what i've said to shreds but the um, important point about them is to get people starting writing code no matter how simple it is initially but then we will work it up along i hope it's been beneficial and i will produce much more in the coming weeks thank you